Hey, it's Lauren with Channel 1138, and I am here at the Perky Nerd with Kat Tabor and Anna Graves for Leia Day. How are you, ladies? We're good. Yes, we're good. really excited to be here for Leia Day. This is an amazing day. Yes. So, Kat, you were Leia in The Force Unleashed, right? Yes. And the Force Unleashed 1 and 2. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Making and sure I'm getting them all in there. Aww. And Anna, you were in Force's Destiny, right? I was in actually Disney, no. <laughs> it was in Disney Infinity 3.0, which I wish there was a sequel to that, but that was the sequel. I, th- I think there was an original Disney Infinity game, and I was in Disney Infinity 3.0. I'm the Rise of the Empire playset that you can purchase little Leia and Luke. Cool. <laughs> and you had both mentioned earlier that you were Star Wars fans growing up. How did having a female role model influence you? You know, I. everyone, like, Leia affected so many people's lives. It, it's amazing. I actually did a panel at Comic-Con one year, and it was about, like, how Leia had affected people's lives. And I expected it to all be women. And there were so many guys in the audience that had their own stories of, like, what they learned from her. But, but just as a, as a female, getting to see this character who, like, just, you know, gets up there, even though she's teeny tiny, puts her, you know, dukes up whenever she needs to. It's like, it's a, it's, it's a really good role model. Yeah. No, what about I, you? I grew up wanting to be Princess Leia, but Princess Leia from Empire Strikes Back and running around and, and on indoor and meeting Ewoks and, you know, on the speeder and the action was insane and, and exactly what I think I was looking for as a little girl. Oh, that's awesome. For me, Padme was more, <laughs> more of my role model growing I up. I like that answer. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up more, that kind of gives away my age, but yeah, when the prequels were coming out, yeah. so she was yeah. more of mine. Padme is actually still my favorite. And one of the cool things I say about Leia and playing Padme and Leia is that Leia is the combination of Padme and Anakin. I mean, so you take the two characters you have there and then you've got Leia. That's very true. I never thought about that before. So we heard recently Dave Filoni is going to be directing two of the new episodes. Yes, I am very new series. excited. Yeah. Um, are you guys excited for him? And how so do you think that's going to change the animation direction to more live action? It's really exciting. Well, because I worked with Dave on The Clone Wars and I was the Duchess of Mandalore, so for this to be the Mandalorian, I, um, I got goosebumps all over my arms when I f- saw the first picture that everybody else saw as well. And I knew when I saw the photo online of, of John Favreau and, and Dave that they were working on something. I mean, that they were just together. I was like, oh, they're working on something. Yeah. And it's going to be amazing, whatever it is. So um, I'm very excited. Yeah, I um, was lucky enough to just see Dave recently, right before the announcement. So yeah, I didn't really. know, but I, I was up there. We were up there. A couple of us got to go up for a Clone Wars screening. And, and again, just see Dave talking about Star Wars and his love of it. Um, I, I think all of us that have worked with him couldn't be happier. And also, like, there, there is no one who deserves it as much as Dave. So, and you know it's going to be in really good hands. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> it's interesting because I think Dave, he's he's a product, like a child product almost of, of Star Wars, but now he's becoming a father figure of Star Wars because so many of us have looked up to him to take hold of these stories and to take charge of them. And um, whenever we worked together on The Clone Wars and he talked about what he what he wanted to do for George Lucas and what he how he wanted to tell George Lucas' stories with the Clone Wars was amazing and it felt like we were continuing all of these original stories and filling in these holes and gaps and things that George Lucas wanted to get out there and then with Rebels it felt like Dave really like was at the helm and was the captain that we were all looking for yes. for that show and it's uh, it's going to be the same thing It'll be exciting to see. Do you ladies have any upcoming projects that you're excited about that you want to promote? Oh. Um, well, we were just talking about how tired I was because I just got back <laughs> from true. Ohio, where you're from. Yes. <laughs> Actually, Columbus. Yep. <laughs> um, so I have a film called Haven's End that just premiered at the Nightmares Film Festival there. So that'll be coming out sometime probably at the beginning of the year. That's exciting. That was definitely exciting, yes. <laughs> Are you doing any local screenings here at all for that? I or? think there will be. Um, I'm not sure. That was actually our world premiere 
Okay, nice. Um, that the, the festival there is really good. Yeah. So, yeah. To go back home sometime and check that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. So, we'll see. Yeah, but I'm Let excited me know about that. If there's an LA screening, I, I will be there. Oh, I will. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I like a good, scary movie. Um, so, I have a new character on Voltron, which is a series, a Netflix series. Um, it's exciting. By DreamWorks, and that's exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm excited to be on that show. I'm a huge fan of that show. So, um, that's been a big, big, fun thing to do. And, uh, I have a new video game that I've been working on, Metro Exodus. I've been doing that for about a year, and I think that'll come out in the spring. And nice. other than that, just doing work on different projects that haven't been announced yet, but also do a passion project with my friends for HSB Audio. It's the High Street Broadcast, and we do radio plays and serials, and we're working on a new um, musical project together, which should be out soon. It's really exciting. Yeah. And oh, cool. I, w- I was actually just it got reminded because of her daughter, I forgot that the um, Minecraft is actually coming to Netflix. Yes. So the really? story version. My daughter's version, a big Minecraft yeah. fan. And now my son is too. By yeah. Way. So now more people will actually get to, to, to see that. And I was excited about that, especially because, you know, when her daughter's a fan of my work, it's even better. Aww, that's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Jesse. So cool. <laughs> well, thank you, ladies, for being with thank us you, today. Thank you, Thank you for your time. <laughs> Where can we follow you on social media? Oh, uh, at Gravy Pick, P-I-C, on uh, Instagram, and at Gravy Voice on Twitter. And I am at Cat Tabor on Instagram and Twitter. Cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> Keeping it in sync there. Yeah.